boy, was that fun. Now, before I come in with the usual Aussie arm wrestler energy, we just have to send out an apology to all the other arm wrestling channels out there. Unfortunately, some things have been going on in the Aussie arm wrestler's life and some things have been going on in Uncle John's life, and hence why we had to push our time back a little bit, which may step on the toes of other channels. So if you choose to go somewhere else, Support those channels, that's fine. But if not, you're here for Maximum Bang Monday. Oh. couple of days before John and I are on a plane to Carlingford Island. I think half of the crew are there, and I think they're already pissed at the moment. <laughs> it is insane. But we are here for part three of our prediction show because there's 17 matches. Yep. Also, I want to talk a little bit about Devin and Levan, and also John might address the old Neil Pickup situation. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not aware. Like now, those that are in the chat already, I need your help. I can add moderators, and then at the end of the show, they disappear. So, two things you can help me out with. One, I got links and everything everywhere so you don't have to worry about links the only link we should be talking about is the link at the bottom of the screen and in the description and at the top of the comments two does it really matter on my channel because i don't that's what i think but everyone in the chat can help me out but in saying that i still want to get the problem fixed so if people come in and they're complaining, um, I'm getting a lot of messages. I saw some in the, the last two or three weeks, I think it's been now. I'm trying to figure it out, everyone. We roll on. We're here for some fun. And I can't wait to get to Ireland, Uncle John. Oh, it's coming fast now. I'm I'm a little... I have a little bit of a damper camp cap on. A, da a damper cap i don't know what that is but i think you can imagine in your in your mind um got one. because i've got all this stuff going on so i don't get to get into ireland until friday morning so, and then i leave monday morning yeah i leave, I leave a couple leave. hours after you yeah yeah so i'm not happy about the quick turnaround but what i am extremely happy for is the fact that my entrance, my custom entrance music is ready to go. My custom designed, uh, personally arted jean jacket with the sleeves cut off is complete. It is full, all of its glory and splendor, but not one eyeball will get a look at that until it is time to go at armgods.com. And third of all, Man, Evan Burgoyne is in trouble. Big, big trouble. Do you see how drunk he is already? He's been drunk yeah. now for like three days in a row. He was in a wheelbarrow last I saw him. Well, he's there and he's ready to get it. But for just five pounds, John, you can watch 17 matches. That's $6.35 Australian. That's $9.17 no, sorry, it's $6.35 American, $9.17 Australian. They're ripping them off. They're ripping themselves off. Yeah. They're ripping themselves off. Uh, the, I want to say hi to everyone, but the metal can go first. Thank you very much. The metal says, behold, the metal be upon you this hour. Ready to hang and bang, sling and sling, crack the wrist of Team Kraken's finest on the day of Krakening. At Winter Blast this Friday night. Ready, head, bang. I will be oh, sure to watch that medal. I wish you all the best, my man. And so does Uncle John. 
Can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because uh, the medal's got a super match. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. So I, I was, I'm excited to see the medal in action. Uh, I was also looking into the Paul Italia versus Nanya complete cluster mess disaster. I don't know if that's even going to happen or not. Yeah. La- last I heard, it had something to do because I think I think Nanya just wanted to know Paul Atelier's real name. I think I read a little <laughs> bit. So he's like, contract has to be legal with your legal name. I read a little uh... bit of that on Facebook. I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be that guy. I love that they're giving it a crack. Yeah. I love that they're trying to build it up. Something's just gone wrong in this whole thing and i'm bored you're bored oh no the big b-o-r-e-d something's gone awry but i think because if it i think they've dwelled too much on is it happening or not if it was like Mm -hmm. sign sealed delivered we're on ryan gronden's got the money or or whatever then they could really Day one, you know, because they were really good at making memes for a while of each other. I was thoroughly right, enjoying right. that. I thought, you're doing right. it right here. I'm interested, I'm interested. And then it's like, oh, it's not on. It's not on. It's not on. You need to do this. You need I, to do that. And then it became a bit. Do you think it's a matter of, of the time, right? They started, because it's been brewing for a long time. And I don't mind a slow burn, but it's hard because if you hit that peak moment of drama and madness, if you hit that moment too early, and then you got another month before the the event. It's just too early, right? Like Evan and I, we've had a couple little clashes, a little bit here and there. But I can tell you, that the minute I get to that place, it's going to be on. Yes. And it's going to be great. And I'll be there with my camera ready to go. And the um, first good ever- segue. Yeah. Well, we'll get into the blood and guts and everything. But this was a really good segue for me and man Lewis. Mm-hmm. Godspeed, my boys. Can't wait for Arizona. Lewis. We were there last year. Like garlic, we crushed it. John, what day is Arizona State this year? Oh, I can't remember. June 1st. I'm glad you answered with June 1st. <laughs> June 1st. So, Tim Talman joining up said, you know, we want you. Awesome. Great. Looking forward to Arizona. Now, I went to bed one night, John, and then I woke up the next morning because the arm wrestling world carries on (laughs) while I'm in bed. Sure, sure. I woke up, no word of a lie, 219 messages alone. Whoa. So I thought, first thought was, someone's dead. Yep. No. Second thought was someone's sick. No. No. Third thought, Devin and Levan was off. No. It was Neil Pickup. Neil Pickup posted a picture of how he's going to be king of the table. Right, right. I'm going through. It's all these messages. Fuck, king of the table. Oh, sorry. My telly keeps playing up. I think I need to get a new one. So I'm getting all these uh, messages and they're like, this is bullshit. How how come King of the Table fired you and things like this? Because the arm wrestling community have somehow built this imaginary rivalry between Neil and I, which doesn't exist. (laughs) Because we both wish each other luck before a big event. Have a great call, have a great call. Yeah. So in the midst of it all, I get a voice message. From Donna Drace. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Just wanted to give you the heads up because your phone might blow up. But, you know, you're with us at King of the Table always. (laughs) Neil's just going to – Neil's excited. And you guys got to work together. And then I look at my phone and there's something from Neil. Oh, we're going to be finally working together. So all those people that were sending hate stuff and like, oh, we're, you're saving mm. us from Aussie's commentary. Oh, we're going to get a professional MC. <laughs> I've got a big fat one because it will be Neil and I side by side. Bad news is I won't be at Arizona State. 
Right, right. So, well, okay, a couple a couple thoughts on this. Awesome. I'm very happy that that you guys will be able to do it together. I think I think that you will work very well together. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I think it I think it was a nice nice compliment uh to each other, but let me just also say that it leaves that stage in Arizona ripe for some grape stomping from Uncle John. Look, when Ozzy's not in the building, that's a lot of extra airtime, right? That maybe it'll be a little <laughs> little less hot in the room too, right? It'll be a little cooler <laughs> in the room. So I plan to go kazoo crazy. Man, you got to um, state. Yeah, you got um, John Brazink, Larry Wheel's going to be there, Mario Tambakis. Mm-hmm. And it's official, Mario Jason Merlot knuckles up. Beautiful. So, but, all right, we've spoken long enough. We've got to say hi to the Dead Set Legends. Got a couple of ripper caption games before we get into our final predictions, including the Claymore, Big James Claymore. Stewart. Yes. He's ready to go. We got Alex McDonald. Ready, bang. So many great matches. Ready, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. James Lee G is in there. Mm-hmm. We got a uh, dangerous Dan, Dan Plexman, Major Mason, Captain Obvious. Says everyone's live at nine tonight. Yeah, yeah we just I'm had so some off. Yeah, we just had some stuff on, um, and the time zone changes and everything. It's killing us all. Hello, gents. What is going on there? We got Matt Smith in the house. We got the Dungeon Master. He'll be there. Yeah. Red Arm Gods. It's going to yep. be awesome. What else have we got? Petrello. Jew Nelson is in there. Go Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> you got to win. I don't think the winning is going to be the problem. I do not foresee. I foresee. This match ending when Evan Burgoyne says, I quit. Ooh. And it's not going to take seven matches. I guarantee it. Nah. Surely not. Surely not. What if What if the match just always went until somebody said, I quit? So you could lose a hundred times, but if you didn't say, I quit, then it's not over. Hmm. I think you would just get bored and tired. I think everyone would just be too numb. So you probably wouldn't even feel it. He's like, right. you know what? I'm bored. I want to go to bed. Go and tell his arm literally just falls apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to be great. But thank you for um, everyone saying it's going to be with Neil and I. Finally, after four years, we're going to be working together. It's going to be great, what you- I think. I think it's going to be Neil and I. Well, John, we've got so many predictions written down, but we've still got five more matches. So I reckon we get into the first one. And what's a better camera view? I reckon this one. There we go. Mm. 100 kilo Commonwealth belt left arm. Yes. This is uh, well, you know, me and you, we've got a we've got cl- a close personal relationship with with Mr. Beach. You know, intimate, really. I mean, he watches us when he is at his most vulnerable, and that's with a giant log hanging down. And uh, we appreciate that. We appreciate his honesty. And uh, he does have a tough opponent, though. Johnston. When who did he pull left? Last time I saw him, I think I saw him against Bradford possibly once. Mm. I think Bradford uh, Bradford beat him, but I've seen him in some very, very tough wars. Um, but, of course, this is James Beach we're talking about. This is a guy who took Evan Burgoyne and slapped his little baby bottom and, and burped him right back to Petawawa, Ontario. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I am fully on board. I am 100% on board with 
James the Giant Beach. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I'm not even going to introduce his opponent. That's how much I love James Beach. <laughs> I'm going to give James Beach the big end, and he's going to get in there. And then I'm just going to say, the other dude, come on there. I think, well, if you're going to do that, so we, we got to be fair, right? We got to be fair. So what you do that, and then I will just boo James. I'll just boo him <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> well, here's the other yeah, thing. I just I want... over to John for some special comments, John. Boo. Boo. Beach. Uh, but here, <laughs> so, side note, side note, behind the scenes, when um, when we were predicting mine and Evan's match like two weeks ago, uh, I kind of was like, I kind of, I kind of threw Beach under the bus a little bit, and I was like, ask James Beach uh, if he would beat me, and I kind of razzed him. I kind of razzed him on the show, and he sent me a message, and he's like, Oh, you're asking for it, big boy. He was really over overtly sexual about it too. So I don't know if I'm getting that at Ireland, but I do see a match in my future with James Beach. If James wants to graduate to the, where the real men go, which is the super heavyweight category, I think that would be uh, I think that would be a good a good way to go, James. Could James be the first person to have a crack at the hardcore belt? Oh, I don't think James has got that. I think James is, he's got two, his, his hands are like pretty. He's got pretty hands, right? Like he wants to keep his modeling open. Could you, could you get down to 220? I mean, I could. I don't, I don't know why I would want to, but I could. Well, to win, to win his belt. Yeah. Well, how many belts does the guy need, really? I mean, I wear sweatpants every day. <laughs> <laughs> if they start whipping out like a drawstring championship, then I'll go for all of them because I wear shorts every day. Yeah. Speaking of John, we've just spoken to our designer. Mm -hmm. Guys, mm -hmm. series two of Maximum Bang Monday cards. Woo! They're getting Sexy. heated. Beating them up. We got a few sizzle. in there. Should we drop a drop a couple of names? Yeah. Well, oh, I like that we've got Marcio Barboza on board. Ooh, Marcio. I like that the Phenom is getting a card. M -m 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 Marcio. And if I can get him done quick enough, he might be the auto. Because he's always at knuckles up. Right. Right, right, right. Well... I mean, there's there's a lot of guys to be excited for. Marcio, definitely, definitely up there. Um, another guy that you might be excited for, maybe imagine this. You're out in the harbor. You're having a nice day, you and your lady, and all of a sudden in the distance you hear, <laughs> because the tugboat Chant Shaw in his debut card will be in set number two. We've got that one. We've also got the best junior arm wrestler on the planet. The Croatian sensation, Reno Masic. Oof. He's going one. to be in set number two. Nice. Oh man. I we we should try to get some autos of him too. We'll try and People get some autos. We'll also have women. Ladies cards. Ladies cards. Ladies cards. Theoretic Marlon Bergstrom will be on there. I mean nice. who nice. else is coming on? I mean, listen to the names. Giannis Amelins. Giannis. Lachlan Adair. Whoa. I mean, Todd Zilla. Oh, my loins. Lord almighty. These cards are going to be great, and we've got some other cards coming along. So pre-sale will happen once we see some of the designs, and it's all happening there 
There's going to be a couple of awesome double cards. You're going to get autos. You're going to get some art cards. We might even have a special... Nah, I can't. I'm not going to announce that one. That one can wait until we've met. Too sexy. Too sexy. All right. So we're both going Jim Beach. Yes. Now, this one here. This match scares me. Because what they've done <sighs> is they've gone to the insane asylum and let out two lunatics. <laughs> Super heavyweight because we got warned 495 times at Valhalla 2 yeah. that if James Stewart loses it, you run. Yeah, and I believe okay. it. I believe it. Get out Huge the way. Man. Huge man. But... Mateo Rangi. I would not be messing with him if it all kicked off. So well, two well, alpha this... males ready to go. So how how heavy is uh, Matty? Do you know off the top of your head where he's at right now? About? Oh, I reckon around the one sixty kilo. So let me oh. just go pants to kilo. Uh, so kilo like three eighty. 352. 352. So they're both about 350. Um, and for God's sake, guys, for God's sake, that's a lot of meat at the table. That is an absolute 20 nugget load on each side of that table. And I'm, uh, when is this happening? When is this one on the card? Do we know? Um, I wonder if I took a photo of the order. Let me just have a quick look. I mean, so, okay, so here's here's visually what we're looking for with this match. Mata Iwerengi is an enormous man. His width, his girth is unparalleled. He He's still tall. I don't know how tall he is, but he's definitely not anywhere close to as tall as James Stewart. Now, James Stewart is like the closest oh. closest thing to Australia Pithecus you're going to you're going to find. He is he is he is a great ape for sure. Can we just acknowledge that we've just had our moment where John reminds us that he went to university. <laughs> Pithecus <laughs> is your word of the day. <laughs> hey, I learned Australia Pithecus in community college, so Hats off to Ooh. community college. Uh, they are match number five on the card. Match number five. That's so. That's a good thing. They they've got these very interesting matches uh, sprinkled throughout. And God, I I'm I, this is probably the match I'm most excited for on on the card. Just because I I don't know what's going to happen. I think James yeah. Stewart. With his, if it was left-handed, I think Stewart would murder him. I, I think he would. I think he would go right through him on the left. Yeah, on the left. Uh, but the right with Maddie is is a little bit of a different story too. So we might have a massive clash. You got a super long arm versus a shorter arm and shorter hand, but it's about about as wide as it is thick. Um, so Lord Almighty, top, top roll against King's move. Yeah. James, yeah. James is going to try and come over the top and can Mate oh, yeah. just stand there and hold him? Yeah. Mate Rangi is my guy from down under. He is from New Zealand, but he is a part of us. And that's the reason. He's my mate and I've got to predict him. He's my guy. But well, I'll tell you what, this match, straight fire. Oh, Screaming awesome. Screaming and shouting and... Testosterone I mean, it's, dripping. It might as well be a, a canon part of the Godzilla story. Uh, I, I mean, more or less, because the house is going to probably be destroyed. With that being said, I do think that uh, although this, I think, will be a, a, a good match, both guys will have moments. I think that the long arm and the top roll with James Stewart is going to take this one. So... We're going to have to differ here. Uh, we, mate, we're hardly the same. 
We are we are opposites. So Stuart Cafe Mate <clears throat> for me. Yeah, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we've got a few of the same, but usually we're just all the same. Um, look at Silky just dropping hammers. Woo, Silky! Thank you very much, Silky. We haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, I know you've just been hanging about, but not really in the chat. Guaranteed that when Neil and Ozzy, those two absolute buffaloes are up and about, ready to go at it, there will be nothing like it. A ripper time and commentary so loud as to natural. It's how many catchphrases you can oh get in there. Oh, my God. Silky, what, what was the work time on up that? About, uh, buffaloes and <laughs> up and about of mine, ready yeah. to go at it. Yeah. Neil, ripper, yeah. me, supernatural Neil. Hot like the same soup warmed over as it was, <laughs> was in the past. <laughs> nice. Yo, yeah, Silky says three minutes. Three minutes work time. That, that was worth every minute. That was beautiful. <laughs> very happy. Very happy. And Silky, if I can get my um, moderator thing working, we'll get you back on it because that <laughs> is proper class. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow love it i absolutely love it uh i want to i don't want to take silkies because we're very appreciative when you guys do super chats that is for sure my kids get to eat john doesn't have any kids so you get to buy more figures though so that's important <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hey, brilliant. What's going on, Jason Latuna? How you going, mate? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what? Where'd you get it, that? This is the new Hulk that came out. It was like before the NWO when he was yeah. like, like, uh, he, that's where he, he lost the Dungeon of Doom. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, he yeah. lost the giant. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, that's also new. Scott Hall, baby. Yeah, you came you to the war, you're gonna get one. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, but thank you very much, Silky Wilkie. Let's see if we can get the predictions back up. So, our next match, all right, we'll do this one and then it'll be the first caption game. Oh, baby, James. Oh, oh. RBJ. Holy crap. I had, uh, so I watched part of the show that uh, they did. They did a live show over on the Arm Guys channel, and Rob was on. And I actually changed my mind a little bit about this match based on that conversation. Because Ooh. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried for Rob. Because Rob, Rob is the type of guy that will fit right in at Arm Gods because he likes to party, he'll throw them back. But we got to remember, this is a very, very long card. There's going to be a lot of time for Rob to be drinking before, before his match happens. And he was already very worried about James Wall's uh, referee shenanigans. He says James Wall always goes early and some other number of uh, crazy things. So um, I was 100% on Team RVJ. I was 100%. I thought RVJ is just going to run him over. But now I'm actually a little bit worried. So I'm 55-45, I'm but I'm sticking with RVJ. See, I was actually in Team James Wall initially. Uh -huh. Yes. I thought power inside, not going to worry about the hand, should have enough to drive across. Yeah. And I thought RVJ is going to be cutting quite a bit. 
which, as we know at times, cutting can be hard. RVJ came on the show with James and he says, I'm not going to make weight. Yeah. So then the pendulum, for me, swung back into RVJ's favour. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if he shows up at like, because what was he supposed to be, 209? Yeah. So that, there's a big difference if he shows up like 220, 230, 240. Like, you know, that those that's a lot of weight. That's a big weight difference if that's the case. It's going to be... Yeah. Like, I love James Wall, but I think because of that, I have to go RVJ as well. In the semi-main event. Did That's you ever think? Event. Did you ever think, John, when you started your arm wrestling career, that you'd be on a a pay per view and you have the likes of RVJ, Ron Bath on the card, and you're the main event? It's a hell of a time to be alive, my man. Can we just like as funny in that as as we laugh about it? I honestly think we should take a moment to appreciate that. I do. I, it's I come with a bit of hard work and right, right. dedication and going full heel, and but you've done it from you know the YouTube sense. Well, one of the things that is you know it's a nice thing that we've we've said it from day number one how how important it is to have a character or or have something that makes people remember you, and you know. In my, I'm doing pretty well in my arm wrestling career on my left. Like things are going well, but that has not always been the case. Okay. I had nothing to, to I had nothing to offer the sport except for the character. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? The character has brought it home again. It's going to be brilliant. And I remember sitting there four or five years ago and I was like, I will commentate with Neil. I said on WAL, but but then here we are. Yeah. John's Beautiful. main eventing a pay-per-view. And then three months later, I'll be in a commentary booth with Neil. Beautiful. How many world champions have we won between us? And John? <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck a booyah! Drink from the cup of life. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. This match is going to be good. This one is probably what I... I mean, 17 matches. I'm really looking forward to quite a lot of them. But this one, there's just it's got an yeah. X factor about it. James Wall is on the cusp of being elite. Yeah. And Rob is elite. And we're getting a relatively committed Rob. Uh, yeah. He beat Brandon Allen. He beat Ben Brooks. He's taking on Jerome Loud later on. <sighs> he, well, I like it. The 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 story here is should be all James Wall. It's James Wall's day. Thank you, Roy. It's James Wall's day to make his name, right? Like we know who James Wall is. Some people do know who James Wall. A lot of people don't know who James Wall is, right? This win for him would pin him significantly higher in the arm wrestling community than he currently is. So for him, if I'm him, I'm doing everything I possibly can to win this. I see James Wall coming out very fast, right? This is the thing that like people know he's strong, but people seem to forget that he's like insanely fast as well. So yeah. I I do think that even though I pick Rob, I think uh, it's definitely possible for James to get a win or two just on his speed alone. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, all the promotions will be circling if James gets pins and wins yeah. in this best of five matchup because it was initially going to be for a title, but um, Rob couldn't make the weight. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be fun. I don't know if we're allowed to do this, John, but anyone watching, if you sign up and buy the event in like the next, I don't know, two hours, 
we'll give we'll give you a shout out on the pay per view. We'll somehow do it. I don't know if we're allowed to do it. <laughs> well, I think I think we should auction off con- like questions for the or take take a couple questions for the the press conference. Do you know anything else about the press conference or what what it's going to look like or anything yet? No, nah, not what it no, nah, not what it's going to look like. Um I think though it'll be a while. What do you mean it'll be a while? It'll go for about two hours, I reckon. (laughs) Well, look, at least, at least here, you get a little nugget at the end of that. Because I'm assuming since Evan and I is the main event, we'll be the last ones. We'll talk, and then we're going to have our right-hand match free, ladies and gentlemen. That is me giving it to you. For free, for free. Did I did I charge Arm Gods anymore for a whole nother match? Of course not. They pay me enough as it is. Although if they want to pay me more, I would also yeah. accept more. We would gladly um, accept that. And I'm to tell you what, if you think Evan's going to be embarrassed on that left arm, the right's going to be worse. And you're getting that. Uh, yeah. 17 matches. We'll whip through it. I just know some sort of chaos, right arm match, and some other shit. Something will happen. Yes. There'll be a bit of chaos. Um, is the pay per view membership only, or is it a one time payment? The medal. What happens is, is you sign up for a monthly membership. It's called Mortal, and you pay it, and you get a month's access to the website. Discounts on merchandise. There's some extra videos in there, previous events. You can go back and watch them all, and you get Valhalla this weekend. So it's worth it. Mate, $6 something in America? Yeah. It's going to be worth it. Yeah, boy. Uh, it's going to be brilliant. Well, I reckon that let's, uh, let's go back to here because something's gone weird. For everyone's favorite time of the week. John, we have a clear winner at the moment and no one likes him. A clear oh, winner. Oh, no, let's just I wasn't there a big mess and you couldn't get the graphic to work. Like it just wouldn't the name just wouldn't get up there. We just let's just skip it for today. So no caption game. I'm down with that, and we'll give everyone else seven on points. The board seven points. Yeah, yeah. That sound fair, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Roy says it's fair. All right. That's good. <laughs> God damn it, Roy! You and your funny nonsense. I was looking for his comment. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, no, he didn't. (laughs) I'm like, I can't see it. I'm like, what's going on for StreamYard? uh, But the rumors are true. Royman Baker with a two-point lead over Marcus Thompson, the man that he's making. Arm God's a success, what it is today. Can't wait to get over there. A red cap man is also on six points, and we've had to go to the two page. Oh, bane of my yeah. existence. We're not even. We're not even through quarter one of the year. Nah, and there are our one pointers, two pointers, and if you're not on the board, the shit pointers. Yeah. So get in Come there. Board. I think I found a funny one, John. So I moved oh, yeah. us up there. I think, I, think I, found a, I think I found a funny one, but I don't know. It's all. <laughs> well, Roy, that's why we're so upset. All right. So it's a Ryan Bohm one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's roast Ryan right before we see him. Before we hang out with him and yeah, yeah, have fun. So, <laughs> what is Ryan doing, job? 
<laughs> Ryan took a break from arm. He's coming back to arm wrestling full time real soon. Mm-hmm. He took a break, got some dollar dues in the bank, which everyone needs a break from this YouTube thing. It's like yeah. I've been going two years straight, just yeah. over two years straight. And um I always sit there and go, Yeah, I'll have a I'll have a break. I'll have a break. But then oh after this, oh we got arm gods. What's after arm gods? Devin versus Levan. What's after that? <laughs> Knuckles up. Okay, what's happening after that? I've got to go to King of the Table. What's happening after King of the Table? Oh, you got back to back East versus West, then King of the Table, then Knuckles up in September. <sighs> Woo! buddy <laughs> so no break okay what is ryan's real job <laughs> being ryan that is a job it is quite the job yeah someone's got to do it being special <laughs> officer doofy from um what is it scary movie yep he's a human stops <laughs> Hi. Uh, Taylor Swift security team. Yeah. Taylor Swift was recently in Melbourne. He's a oh, wombat yeah. proctologist. Roy, not even remotely funny. Not even <laughs> funny adjacent. <laughs> not even kitty corner to funny. Uh, he, nice footies that come into his garden. So, like, you're sitting at home and someone kicks a ball over the fence into your garden and he just goes in and knocks him. <laughs> uh, he's the creator of the sex box. Oh, the Bowen sex bots. Mm. They uh, the he's, he's just wearing reflective caution clothes <laughs> because he's a ginger. <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? He deflects underwear with his x-ray vision. What? <laughs> Wait, he deflects. On, so he has x-ray vision. Okay, let me imagine this. So he's got x-ray vision and he looks at somebody and then his x-ray vision gets blocked by the underwear, but it also deflects the underwear. So the, the underwear rips off through the pants that were on the outside so you can then see through the pants, but you couldn't see through the underwear, but now you can see because you've removed the underwear. Is that is that the long and short of it? In his underwear. Hey <laughs> uh gingerbread them. Mm. Is that a pronoun joke? <laughs> Are they- <laughs> oh no. Did we just lose him? I think we lost him. <laughs> God damn it, Ozzy. See, Joe Nelson, we're back to this once again. Right when we think we've got it all figured out, oh. you go and make a comment and it boots Jake right out of here. Well, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, everything just disappeared. That's all right. I blamed it on Joe. Yeah, that's what I mean. The YouTube just went, ah, 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 ah. No pronoun jokes. Uh, we got delusional man. He's a professional delusionalist. He's a... Delusionist. He's a professional screen model. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Good work, Joe. This could get your point, Joe. <laughs> this could get your point. You asked for clarification. <laughs> okay. Where are What's they? worse? What's worse? Asking for clarification on the joke when you say never explain your joke. <laughs> <laughs> Is that worse than actually just explaining your joke? No, I think explaining I think explaining the joke is worse. Why? Because it is up to us to judge if we find it funny or not, or if we understand it. So really, you're just further shitting on Joe because he missed, he immediately missed his target audience because it was not clear. The joke was not clear enough. 
Was that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, no, because it didn't make sense. But I'm going to take away his provisional point because he's talking in the third person. <laughs> Joe knows all the buttons. He knows all of them. <laughs> so don't, don't talk in the third person. Soon you'll start having your own podcast and it'll just be all about you and your guest here. All right. <laughs> What do we got? Lights out, down under from Tim. We'll see you soon. Hey, man. Just I heard a rumor me. that that we are all in close proximity to each other this weekend. So, do you know where we're staying? And no do you know idea. Who's picking us up from the airport. No idea. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, no clue that's all. all. Oh, I, it just takes us. They're good. It just takes us to send a message. I just was wondering if you had heard. Nothing. So many people coming in and out. I can't imagine what a cluster it would be organizing. Them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe. Well, I'm sure Fox will be getting his his runs back and forth. <laughs> Maybe that's who it would be. Uh, Shadow puppet puppeteer. Hmm. Shadow puppeteer or shadow puppet puppeteer. Shadow. The shadow is the puppet. So it could be. So it'd be Shadow Puppeteer? Man, who's the puppet? <laughs> who's the master, man? Who pulls the strings, dude? Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I am enjoying at the moment is how many. One comment's got me, and I'm not putting it up, but one comment got me good. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a job. <laughs> I'm not talking about your one, Dan. I actually like your one. I might even put it on the list. Um, hang on. I can't read that. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. What was that? What was that talking about? I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> um, what What was I talking about? Uh, ah, I've lost it. Oh, where we're where we were sleeping? Yeah. No. no. That's up, all up in it. Anyway, great, great content. Oh, yeah. What I was going to say. <laughs> what I was going to say is I'm thoroughly enjoying, so just quickly touching on Devin and Levan, is Engen went and hung out with Levan. Right, right. So Engen being smart makes a video and goes, oh, after seeing Levan, I've changed it now. It's more... 53, 47, or 55, yeah. 45%, which yeah. is very smart to do. Obviously. But, oh, my God, has the internet just bashed him for it. It's hilarious. It's like, guys, come on now. Well, let's be honest, though. If anyone, if anyone deserves an unneeded overreaction to them to teach them how it feels when you deal with him, I mean, he's the guy, right? He's the guy. It was... Uh... <sighs> anyway. Uh, Captain Obvious says he's getting banned from major arm wrestling events. Mm. Is that a job? Hey, hey, maybe Could been be. banned from one. Ha! Yes! <laughs> 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 Yes, nice. that's nice. the job I'm talking about. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. I think it's funny. I think it's a good. It's funny. I don't know if it warrants all of this carrying on right now. This, this has got you by the tickle bone. I, I'm just picturing it. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> all right. Uh, I have to shorten that. Um, all righty. <laughs> he said they bought buggy chair leather pay for his flight ticket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's a, <laughs> a drop bear manager. What mm -hmm. is going on? He, he fists horses, according to Dan. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's quite the forearm workout. He is the turd burglar. Mm. White Wolf, what's going on, buddy? Give us an update on Ireland. Are you alive still? Yeah. Wow. I was I was pretty con well, concerned for you guys. I wasn't really because your old, uh, you know, days of gay biking. I'm sure they come in handy keeping you safe, safe in this time of need. Yeah, give us a give us an update because it'd be like one or two in the morning over there now, right? And I, I honestly will be shocked if Evan makes it to the event. I really will be surprised. Has he brought his new girlfriend over? Um, I did see a picture of him with some uh, lady, but you know. <laughs> Oh, are geez. we having are we having a wedding after the event? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna comment and go, well, that's another loss for Evan Burgoyne. I wonder if you'll propose after this Mahala. <laughs> Can he go for two in a row, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Behind the screen door for people <laughs> to pray to daddy. Uh, he's the hallway monitor. He's the trailer mm. park supervisor. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Uh, he is the real sap to be. Mm. What if he was? <laughs> I'm only laughing because Jack is laughing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got an update. It's almost 2 a.m. in Carlingford. The De Li lift drizzle, I think it's supposed to say light drizzle, and no thorn bushes tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, night. Looking forward to having a beer with you, mate. Looking forward to having a beer and a chat with you. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm a member here. What game are we talking about? <laughs> That's on the list. <laughs> I have not seen I have not seen this uh this picture before. Haven't <laughs> you? No, no. So some a, a lot of the time Spurvy's names doesn't come up in channels. Oh, right, 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 cuz it's a fan sif. I just get hit with Terminator 2 Spermies. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That photo looks like, have you seen this man? Like, right. he was harassing women at the shopping center. <laughs> Around the world, people are reporting they see this man in their dreams. He's the dream walker. Uh, all righty. Uh, we need one more because we've got another caption game and a couple more matches to predict. Can't wait to share an Airbnb. We're all together. That's awesome. Yeah, so I've heard. Um, all righty, let's go with um, ah, oh. <laughs> there we go. He was in the thorn bushes last night. Evan has Stephanie with him. Had oh no, <laughs> 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 uh, where well. Spermie's picture should be the next caption game. Hundred percent. <laughs> yes, I agree. Send me that photo. Uh, we didn't see the video. We saw a picture. Yeah, I saw the picture. Lachlan pays him to stand next to him and make him look hotter by comparison. Uh, I think we're only going to go with two. All right. Must have been a terrible picture. Probably. So, John, I've quickly done a poll. 87 votes. 
Yours and the Ron Bath Ryan match um, is what people are looking forward to the most. Oh, who did we beat out? Uh, RBJ James Wall, 21%. And I said, other, comment below. Uh huh. Okay, who wins? Uh, so we got GB, GB19 with, I think, a comment that only I found funny. <laughs> um, or James P. I'm new here. What? <laughs> the baby sperm, his pet sperm's not coming. Oh, that's too bad. All righty. Well, let's just, uh, no, I don't like that one. I like this one for the predictions. Here we go. Yeah, boy. So, found out yesterday, John, when these two studs were on the show. Tim Bresnan is heavier than Mindy Gostalskis. What was he put? What was he coming in at? Like 316 Woo! to 308. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Tim. Man, uh, again, another match with a ton of meat. Um, we haven't seen Tim in a minute. It feels like, did you, did you, do you recall what his last match was? He said he pulled in a, a tournament, and I think his last super match was that shamble with Austin Jaggers. Oh, hoi. When yep. no one pinned anyone. Yes, 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 yes. I do recall that now. So here, here's my thinking on this. Um, Mindaugas Dalskis, like, strong as hell. Like, I, I gripped up with them after Valhalla 2. I could not believe, I could not believe how strong that guy is. This is ridiculous. But Tim Bresnan has a different style of arm wrestling. Okay. Uh, Tim Bresnan, you know, he's got that, that drag back and he can pronate there a bit. And, you know, he's just this old stubborn man. And it's really hard for me to go against Tim. Uh, cause I really like Tim. Also, I'm a little bit afraid of Tim. I think everybody should be just to be safe. Uh, I also really like Mendelgas, but I'm more afraid of Tim. So I'm going to vote for Tim. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Give us your arm wrestling expert analysis. Well, uh, it's whoever I'm more afraid of. Yeah. That is how you should always do things. You gotta, uh, you gotta get it out properly. Like you gotta word it differently. See, I'm scared of James and Matteo Rangi, so I just played the friend card. Then people don't know that I'm scared of them. So you're Great. going, Tim Bresnan. Yes. This match is straight fire. Man, it's 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 gonna be brutal. Uh, the only thing that I would <laughs> I would be worried about for Tim. <laughs> Spermies, slow down. We got a whole weekend. That's you got to a rider. <laughs> Don't be no, using up all your though. funny this early in the week. It's good warm up, though. It's good warm up. I like it. Cooey Jets. Mm. Wow. Mm. Um, yeah, the the for me it's it's Minda's press. Yeah, I think that'll be trouble. He's gonna open Tim up. Tim's gonna he doesn't mind coming out like that. Now, the beauty of this match is, is Tim said yesterday that his hand is finally pain free after two years. Well, that's a good sign. Mega. Now we yeah. know it's it's weird because Tim takes on really tall guys like Derek Smith, doesn't win, mm -hmm. but then takes on lighter tall guys like Matt Mask and wins. Yeah, it, it's I, it's it's hard to say on this one. It's, uh, for me, it's very difficult. 
Tim, I'm going to meet you for the first time in Ireland. I can't wait. Please don't hate me. You can hate him, Tim. I'll give you permission. No, I know he's watching. Timothy, can I call you Timothy? Oh, you're you're <laughs> digging a hole now, buddy. You are going to get mud stomped right back down to your side of the world, right through the core. Yeah. So so so, uh, Timothy uh, Bresnanovsky is his real name. He's Jewish. <laughs> I will go Minda. Uh-huh. Well, I like that we got a lot of differentiation going on here. Yeah, well, I'll count them because we need to do a collective bet. My hairline right. against something that you need to do in Ireland because you lose all the time. <laughs> Well, you we know, I'll we'll even put Zadie up on a bet because I know I always win. <laughs> You're the worst. You're the worst. Imagine that. Imagine that. It was like, oh, Uncle John, you won uh, nine predictions to four. Um, here's my firstborn. Yeah. Bazinga. But we need to find something for John whilst we're together in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What could it be? And we'll have to do it on the Sunday. Yeah. If I'm Whoa. still alive at that point. Well, you may as well do it after your match because it'll be like three in the morning Sunday. It's true. It's true. I think it's going to be one of those things where we all don't go to bed. We power on through to breakfast. And then mm-hmm. at about 2 p.m. the next day, we all say our goodbyes. Yeah, yeah, because I, I have to yeah. go to the airport at like four a.m. Monday morning. Yeah, because I leave yeah. at seven thirty in the morning. Yeah, I think Tim and I are like ten thirty and eleven thirty. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I couldn't do that to him, Major. Not on WrestleMania season. Also, I need all my WrestleMania power. Oh, also, it is confirmed. That WrestleMania 41, there is uh, a an official bid put in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, to have WrestleMania 41 at the U.S. Oh. Bank Stadium next year. Yeah. So I'm very, fingers crossed. Also, Monday Night Raw coming up July, end of July, baby. You get a go? Oh, yeah. Good. I'm I'd be annoyed if you did it. Man, first, first one I'll see in person for like, 15 years. Can you just hold up a saw? <laughs> Maximumbang.com. Yes. Yes, I will. I will for uh, sure. All right. We got one more match and then the next caption game. Is it mm-hmm. going to be a bubble bath or a blood bath? Ron Bath, Ryan Bowen. Talk to anyone. And they both feel mega. The, the the question is, it's like, it's where where do you start here? There's so many angles for this match. It's the old guard versus the new guard. It's, you know, uh, stylistically going to be a hand battle, in, in my opinion. Um, it is Ryan... After, you know, all the shenanigans and the the whatevers with East versus West and, and all this, it's about him rising back, right? Not really needing the help of anyone, but picking himself up by his own bootstraps and uh, coming in and, and taking out Ron Bath. For Ron Bath, it's like, hey, I will not go silently into the night. I'm going to go kicking and screaming and kicking ass all the way to the grave. So... Number one, I love it, right? There's nothing not to love about this match. I think it will be a good match. I think it will be a close match. In the end, I'm going to go for Ryan Bowen because I know that I I, kind of get his, I can see his his planning. I can see what he's doing and where he's going and and kind of the path he's on. So I think we see... A very impressive Ryan Bowen. 
is what I think we see. Hmm. Well, mine's not as technical as that. Uh huh. Ryan Bowen was born in the same country as me. <laughs> <laughs> but this one keeps chopping and changing because I know how strong Ron is. And the and the problem in the arm wrestling world is we sit there and we just go off the last match. And yeah. he got pounded by Matt Mask. Now, Ron's not like that. He's beaten the likes of Chan Shaw, had that banger with Zurab. Yeah, You know, we've seen him around just pulling North America. He said he was still injured when he pulled on... Um, when he uh, pulled at Monster Factory. Oh, yeah. So, Ron's strong. Ron's and he's very strong. strong. He is very, very strong. Oh. So, personally, I haven't felt that beating Bath these past years has been meaningful in any way. But maybe he proves me wrong. But uh, has he won anything lately? Do we really have any expectations of this? You want to you well, go? If I beat Ron Bath, I would be... I'd be pretty stoked. <laughs> I, I think it's a it's a different perspective from an arm wrestler versus uh, somebody who just likes to watch arm wrestling. I'm not not saying that, that that's what the case is, but if you're an arm wrestler and and a rabid one of the sport like Ryan Bowen is, right? He follows everything. You know, he has a, a deep understanding of who people are, where they've been, how they've gotten to be. And if you really look all through Ron's, uh, you know, history, you like, there's, there's no doubt that, you know, Ron is, is one of the greatest of all time uh, from just from the sheer length of his career and the, the level he has maintained. So I think it means a lot. It will mean a lot to Ryan and it will mean a lot to other arm wrestlers. uh, If Ryan wins, I, I think, um, yeah, that's the long and short of that, I guess. Yeah. I also am predicting, Ryan, I think this could be one of the biggest wins in Ryan Bowen's career. I mean, we're always going to enjoy see Ron Bath pull. I mean, I think Magna's done another arm wrestling promotion or is involved in another arm wrestling promotion. Mm, um, I don't know. Elite One, I think it's called. And then, of course, Ian Carnegie's doing his major arm wrestling championships. You've also got yep. be strong. You know what I mean? Ron's going to be booked for another five years. I yeah, don't true. think. Let me just check out this Magda thing. I know she's doing another uh, AWC. Yeah, Elite on. One Arm Wrestling Championships. Global Elite Arm Wrestling. Hmm. Um. Pavlo versus Cody Merritt on the left arm is the first match announced. Oh, nice. 7th of September. 7th of September. Nice. So there you go. So Benji wants in on that MAC tournament. Is it a tournament? Maybe. They're doing a tournament too? Maybe. I know they've got like a $10 pay-per-view. I was reading some of the mm-hmm. matches. Mm-hmm. I think it's headlined by Alan Ford and Mm. can't remember. I don't remember either. So. uh, Should be a good time. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Good times happening in arm wrestling. I'm going for Ron, but you would. I mean, I'm going for Ryan. (laughs) Whoops. But you wouldn't (laughs) believe it, John. 17 matches. We got through them all. Um, So how many have we got different? And get your predictions in to see um, how many, um, what's it called? How many Uncle John will get right and how many will I get right? Does this need new batteries? What the fuck's going on my TV? 
Yeah. TV news needs batteries. Fucking hell. Anyway. So, okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different. Eight different. So we're, we're almost half. So almost half yes, half no. Yeah. So, um, what's the bet, John? What's the bet before we get into the next caption game? Um, what is something terrible I could do? Uh, hmm. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to do some thinking. Hmm. I'm sure on Saturday night nobody will come out come up with any good ideas when we're all wasted drunk. Ha! Yeah. Uh, all righty. Let's go to so GB19 gets himself three points and James P gets himself two points. So nice where was that? Two, three, two. Okay. Major Mason says, Uncle John should wear magnetic earrings for a whole week. Oh, ouch. Like, 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 a, like I'm a, like to pretend I'm a cool dude or like magnetic earrings that make me look like a, like middle-aged woman. Like a, like yeah, some, like a middle-aged woman. But yeah, how like, do we know you're going to wear them for a week? I only see you. Well, it would have to be like for a show or something. I don't and know. Feel like feeling uh, yourself shopping with them or something. Yeah. Dang yeah. Dangling yeah. cross. Like I would do the dangling cross. I would do the dangling cross just for fun. Right. But like <laughs> somebody has to somebody if if I lose, if I lose, then I will I will come up with some options from Amazon and I will let the viewers decide which kind of earrings i have got to use okay and then well that's what you have to do because i'll win yeah and then i'll go to uh i'll go shopping in target or something i gotta ah. support target more now that you're bent you're out of it you know <laughs> make sure they're, they're keeping up with everything <laughs> now if it's a draw do we both get punished or is it a day off I think I think we both get punished. Okay. All right. That could work. That could work. Um not a fan of Israel Chavez, to be fair. So he comes in and he says hi to the chat. Then to Uncle John. Yeah, boy. Then asks about Uncle John. Yeah, boy. There's two of us here. No I like boy. No, I'm only joking, buddy. Only joking. <laughs> uh, Thank you, like John. Wearing magnetic earrings would attract me. Hey, get it? Because he's metal. Da dangerous. Dan knew a woman who had a metal plate in her head. Head. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh. Loser wears an earring. Mm. Hard photo. Well, it's hard because my my one's already been taken for mm. series two. Mm. It's actually a good idea though for a punishment to be like a shame card. We could put a shame card in each deck that's super rare, and it's just like us sh doing something shameful. Yeah. The shame yeah. card. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You feel shame. You go to box. You sit. <laughs> All righty. Next caption game. Last one of the day. Only because I like this photo. What is Travis's TED Talk about? <laughs> if you're like <laughs> professional speaker, Travis Bajan, what, what would Travis... Oh, no, thank you. Unknown arm. No, thank you. Mm. 
A foil Uncle John Shane card. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? It's just like Travis is up there and he's like, I'm the greatest. Don't ask me how, but I'm just the greatest at everything. <laughs> Son, what do you do? Oh, I'm a computer analysis. Well, I'm the greatest at that. <laughs> I've never done it a single day in my life, and I will whip your ass at it. <laughs> Boy, I can't believe you used two hands to type on a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> you bum. You bum using both your hands. You bum. <laughs> uh, he's, it, um, yeah. He'd be the best at that. So what happened, Captain Obvious? It's like, you work for me, and then you get a team. You get a great team because you got the greatest boss. You get a great team, and then you get people underneath you. It ain't a triangle. It's my three-point pyramid scheme. Uh, uh. I hate you, Roy. <laughs> What you got to do, ladies and gentlemen, is dive deep into them pockets. <laughs> Reach out to your wallet and just hand it to the greatest man that has ever lived. <laughs> oh, this is great. That was good. That was good. <laughs> is Larry Bird in the top five? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, basketball fans. I oh, love that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is Larry Bird top five? <sighs> All right, let's roll. <laughs> How to talk? <laughs> How to talk and accept the volumes? Like a point of view. <laughs> it is quite funny that the volume at which Travis commentates a match is the same volume as when he's telling Engen to fuck off in the middle of that <laughs> map. I'll walk. I'll walk. I don't need this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How to build a multi-level marketing arm wrestling business. <laughs> Just give me all your money and I'll, uh, and I'll make you rich. Mm -hmm. Checks in the mail. <laughs> how to raise a quarterback star and become the number one arm wrestler in the world. <laughs> PEDs for your kids. <laughs> you got to feed them good. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Um, this is the only suit I've ever worn. I've ever owned. Worn it three times. It's probably true, Try actually. To sell top shares to Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> top shares! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, can you imagine Wagner trying to <laughs> communicate with Travis enough to sign a legally binding contract to own a portion of time at a resort. <laughs> young man, young man, you can holiday in this whenever you want, but the rest of the time you rent that out. You make money. You make money off this timeshare. Oh. <laughs> European politics. Oh, wow. <laughs> How to say people's uh, names wrong? Travis mm -hmm. for White House press secretary. <laughs> yeah, I'm facing the rocket WrestleMania. That'd be great. How to pronounce European names in Travanese? Travanese is a very underutilized language. Uh, Travis's tech talk was actually a Shutter Island scene where the doctors were letting him act it out. 
so they could study narcissism up close. That was a good movie. That was a real good movie <laughs> with, the, with the twist at the end. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? Travis selling arm wrestling NFTs. <laughs> 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 oh god <laughs> georgia got talent <laughs> my name's travis beach and i'm from west virginia he, he'll have two acts he'll be like i got two acts for you <laughs> okay okay travis what's your first act i am the greatest at everything <laughs> Okay, great. Would you care to show us, Travis? No. No, son. <laughs> no. How dare you question me? No. Right, you've made it through the next round, Travis. You're the greatest. <laughs> I'm Travis BJ. I'm from West Virginia. All right, Travis, what's your act this time? This. He just pulls out Tyson. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. This. This is Tyson BJ. No, 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 no. This is Travis Beach's son. <laughs> oh, oh Ooh, Travis. I like this one. I like this one. Why the left hand is important. That's for uh, real in- intellectuals. Israel, May 11th. I will be in the US in New Jersey. New Jersey. For Knuckles Up. Uh, all right, we need maybe one more, and then we can vote. Um, what have we got? The history of incest in West Virginia. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> got him. <laughs> okay, so... Let's go to the poll. That was poll, by the way. Uh, the the polello. Who wins? We've got Dangerous Dan. Go he deep. had his Larry Bird top five. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, then we had Major, Major Mason, with <laughs> talk at acceptable volume. I can't fit strugglers, mate. Like a mm-hmm. struggle point of view. Then we had Arminian. Uh, time, time share to Wagner. I'm sure it was good too. There's some good ones here, and then Captain Obvious History of Incest for West Virginia Mountain Mama. (laughs) All right, we've got about five minutes on the pile. I just want to read some others. Um... He would sell NFTs <laughs> too and not know what it stood for. That's a good one. <laughs> History and origins on the tribe of Alexander. That's a good one. CrossFit, the uh, the Travis era. Yeah. Uh, ready bang. What if, what, uh, what if Travis was just super smart at like one really random thing? Like, you know. Mesopotamian housing structures in the 12th century. I don't think Mesopotamia was cracking in the 12th century, but you know. Jerushawania was. Jerushawania has been cracking for a lot of lack in time. Mate, we need to do a, a whole thing on Jerushawania. But mm. let's uh, let's get in there. Guys, let me pop the banner. <laughs> Tyson's body. <laughs> uh, 20 habits of highly people. Could you imagine that? It's just 90 minutes of him going, 
Dubbies. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but guys, the link is in the description. Uh, I will. I'm still trying to figure out why my mods keep deleting. Because I literally, while you're all having fun in the comments, tried adding a few of you people and it added and then went back to grey. So still trying to figure out what's going on there. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so yeah don't stress it's all going to be fine but we'll get in there um so john i read somewhere if i read correctly that after you whoop evan yeah you're having a crack at number one in minnesota yeah on the right arm on the right yeah. arm even yeah Oh my God! May April fourth, April fourth, uh, going to be a right hand match versus Connor Blau. Bulau, strong kid, strong kid. Um, he's he's lighter than me. He's probably I think he's like 230, 220, 230, something like that. But like real stout. Honestly, don't know if I can beat him or not. Um, you know, my right is kind of like you know, uh, well, let's party, boys. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, couple weeks from now uh but right now the only thing in my mirror is that bushy brown beard of evan Beergoyne because the retirement starts very soon evan the time is drawing near where you feel the noose tightening around your neck because you know your time is short it's ticking away moment by moment so i say this get as drunk as you can party as much as you can make as much love as you can because come saturday night there will be blood it's going to be brilliant 17 matches there's a tournament on throughout the day on the arm gods youtube channel so please make sure you go and subscribe to their youtube channel john and i will be sharing some links throughout the weekend we'll be doing behind the scenes footage i will be measuring hands and heads again i won't get through to all 36 athletes but i want to measure it was a hit at king of the table i want to do it again at arm gods just for a bit of a laugh also for like six bucks US, nine bucks Australian, 17 matches, I think, eight of them. How many of them are championships? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the 18 matches are for championships. Nice. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be such a good event. And seriously, guys, there's no arm wrestling on this weekend. Correct me if I'm wrong. Besides this awesome event. So yeah. set your alarms, cancel all your plans. If you've got your mum's birthday and that, forget so it. We'll, we'll celebrate it next weekend because this – celebrate it at Easter. So, yeah, I'll see you at Easter. Yeah. Piss off. Get eat with your mum. Get eat with your mum. Yeah. Get out. Get out. What accent is that? I don't know. One of them. Joshua <laughs> So I think uh, I think everything is going to be there. Right. Oh, yeah. Winter Blast as well. Well, oh, yeah. good luck to everyone at Winter Blast. I like the guys at Winter Blast. Yeah. But they, but they won't be at the same time. So you'll have time to watch both. Right. Which is going to be mega. Right. We'll just quickly look at the poll. Quickly vote for the poll. We've only got 11 votes, guys. This will be the – we need a few a few more votes quickly before we wrap up the show. Voting but, it up. But to be fair, shout out to Winter Blast. Hope you guys have another awesome event because you were there last year, weren't you, John? Uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, it was a great time. Really great time. Yeah, it's going to be – uh, it's going to be great. Cannot wait for it. I'll try and work out what's going on with my mods. Um, I think you guys are making a more <laughs> more of a big deal over it than I am. <laughs> you should be uh, incensed. Uh, but, yeah, all right. 
I'm going to count to 10 and I'm going to close the poll. So if you want to vote, so, well, there's a three-way tie for first. Someone vote. <laughs> uh that's right beer man lost there last year <laughs> <laughs> yes yes he did <laughs> so roger yep got murdered uh okay what do we got here five four three two one and it's a three-way dance for first place god damn it all on 28%. They can all have two points each. Fair enough. Well, what if we let them all forego their points to give negative points to Roy? I'd be down with that. All right. So everybody who won, if you want to forego your points, if you want to give your points, we will subtract your points from <laughs> Roy's point total. <laughs> yeah. So... If Arminian, Captain Obvious, and Dan all say that's fine. Ar Arminian is in. Arminian's in. <laughs> you can't hold me down, Uncle Josh. <laughs> I'm going to try, Roy. I know you're slippery, though. <laughs> to, to be fair, Roy, I could just I could just go into my program and just <laughs> type delete. <laughs> but what fun is it if there's no theater, right? I mean, we need a little razzle-dazzle. Well, Roy's got a partner in Unknown Arm. He says, I didn't vote because Roy wasn't an option. You Man. can't be like that. I'm starting to think that Unknown Arm is Ma Baker. Oh. Right? It makes sense now, doesn't it? Oh, right. Oh, I give my points to Roy. They've turned. Uh, Doc, Doc him too. Doc Captain Obvious as well. He wants to help Roy. Look, we are like the Harkonnens. I just watched him <laughs> too. Look, we need to be cutthroat about this because much like spice on the planet Dune, points are priceless. That's right. We were going to give away a prize for whoever won, but if Roy wins, then no. Yeah. You've ruined it for yourselves. <laughs> Uh, Evan Roach, do me a favor, buddy. It's like the world's easiest website, armgods.com. First thing that pops up when you get Countdown. there. Look, I'll show you. Countdown. So. So dream, so. Let's go, where are you? Right there. Just pops up. First thing, 2 p.m. What a time for you guys. That's you know, when I, when I see a website like this, the thing that comes to mind is, man, whoever's in their main event has an enormous penis. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, no, you, just think that, you just see the, how professional the, the website is. <laughs> it like, says man. it too. So it's yep. 5 a.m. No, 6 a.m. in Australia, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. All you got to do is look how to watch, event tickets, scan that, guys, five pounds. Scan this QR code right there. And you'll be rocking and or rolling. John, what are you going to do until you fly out? Well, uh, I got a few last little little things I'm going to attend to for my my entrance gear and, and making sure that's all tight and ready to go. Uh, I got to pack all my stuff. And uh, that's about it, really. I'm I'm pretty much on easy street, just doing some cardio to keep keep the blood flowing, and uh, just I like there's no weight to make, so I'm pretty pretty liberal with my eating and eating eating like not not eating super shitty, but I'm eating good calories. So I'll be ready to go about 357 pounds, 
And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you as 415 pounds. Love it, love it. I um I hit a PB at the gym this morning. I'm gonna hit another PB at the gym. That'll be going on the members page. We'll see how we go from there. I leave in 26 hours. Ooh, buddy. And what? How far is it to get there? How many hours? Like 24. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, let's have a quick squeeze. So I leave 4 p.m. Wednesday, so it's six and a half hours to Doha. And then, like, is that 20 hours? A 20-hour flight? Dublin. Oh, my God, dude. On the way back... Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, but of course, the time difference change. So if I go Doha to Dublin, flight time seven hours and forty five minutes is Doha to Dublin. So then Melbourne to Doha. This can't be right. Ah, oh, okay. So to get to Qatar, it's fourteen and a half hours. Ah, I see. So it's was like 22 hours. I got a three-hour layover there and back, which is perfect for me. That's enough time to delays, yeah, do anything, get to the next thing. Indeed. Done. Beautiful. All right. We are out of here, you dead set legends. Thank you all so much for all your support. It is going to be awesome. Hopefully next time you see Uncle John and I on the YouTubes, we'll be together. Can't wait. See all the lunatics at Arm Gods. Yeah, scissoring each other. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, guys, we're out of here.